be honest, you thought I'd screwed up on the editing, didn't you? Nah, I'm only joking. Let's get on with the show. I am the god of reselling eccentricity. No, of course, that's just my little joke there. I am a flawed human. Ask any one of my friends or family members. They will gladly tell you I've made a billion mistakes in my time. But that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it cool to live on this planet and to be an imperfect human, to be creative, to be different, to be kind of weirdly attractive in one way, the fact that we are imperfect. There's a weird attraction in that, isn't there? Anyway, if you want to watch a cool show, then have we got a good one in store today. I've really, really loved editing this. I've really, really loved filming this and putting time into this. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be full of cool reselling content. We've got a car boot in there. We've got a haul video in there. And we've got quarter four stock in there as well. Pretty awesome stuff. So stay tuned and yeah, let's get on with the show. So today we are off on the car boot. I'm also going to do a few charity shops as well. I actually haven't got any money out, so I need to get some money out. So today we are taking back all of the quarter stock for stuff that I've amassed over the year uh, back home. Shall we start with the charity shop stuff? I hear you say yes, so yes, we will. Uh, so first off, we've got, oh, this is lovely, isn't it, this? Run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Hi guys, so today we are off on the car boot. I'm also going to do a few charity shops as well. I actually haven't got any money out, so I need to get some money out. And you might be wondering, why is it so light outside if it's meant to be a car boot? Aren't you meant to be getting there at like 6 o'clock? No, I'm not because it's an indoor one. Uh, it's starting at about half nine, so I don't need to get up early today, which is pretty cool. However, you would think I've got up early because look at the bags under my eyes. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, uh, so I'll go and get some money out. We'll go to the car boot. I'll go a bit, get a bit of fussy around there and then we'll head on to some charity shops. It is Sunday so I don't think all the charity shops are open in town but there's definitely going to be a few open so I'll hit up the ones that are open and uh, we'll get back and we'll do a haul video as well so uh, let's get on with the day. So we are here as you can see my hair is a bit of a mess it's raining outside it's not the best day today actually. I've just paid for the car park it's 9-11 I've got 20 minutes to wait till the car boot obviously I'm early Everyone who's watched Thursday Talks for the past year or two uh, will know my early tendencies. Um, but yeah, I've got to get money out actually, so I'm going to go into town, get some money out, and then go over to the car boot. So by that time, it'll be getting on. It'll probably be 9.20 or 9.25, so I won't have to wait in the queue forever. Now, there's normally a really big queue here, um, so I'll show you that if I can. Um, it's, yeah, it's massive. It's just like everyone queues up outside. It gets pretty crazy the closer we get to kind of half nine. So anyway, yeah, we'll get on and I'll see if I get any bargains today. So I don't know how well you're going to hear me because the road is really, really loud, but I've uh, just come back to the car for the first drop off, got about four bags worth of stuff, uh, doing pretty well at the moment, I'm going to head back in there, see what else I can pick up, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what I get. That's right, we are back with a brand new track, this is the car boot hunting video, uh, this car boot, it was... It looks actually quite busy in this clip, but it'll actually clear up in a second. Um, but this was actually quite quiet for this car boot. As soon as I went in, it was fairly busy at half nine. You know, everyone was piling in. It, you could hardly move all the rest of it. 
But then it really did quieten down. Now, I've seen this car boot where you literally cannot move. And I've actually done some footage in it a while back in, I think, January um, of showing you how busy this car boot can actually get. Uh, I saw a couple of irregular dealers there. I actually saw someone, uh, I say in a minute, actually, in one of the clips. I uh, saw someone who watches my videos as well there. So we had a quick chat. But yeah, we're just browsing some of the stalls here. I just did as much footage as I could, so then I've got plenty of footage to share with you guys. Um, I'm sorry if some of the footage comes out a little bit poor, maybe there's a few people and stuff in the way, um, but it was just so busy in there that it was hard to get any really, really good clear-cut footage. But I did try my best, and I got some okay footage. So, yeah, I mean, this car boot really, to give you an idea, it's an indoor car boot. It runs from, I think, September to January, February time. Runs every two weeks, so it's uh, bi-monthly. It's twice monthly. Um, and generally, it's about, I'd say it's 60% private sellers, 40% dealers, something like that. And it's a very hit-or-miss car boot. I mean, some weeks you go there, you can get quite a bit of stuff. This week, actually, I did okay. And um, then other weeks, you can come back completely empty-handed, and it's not really worth bothering with. Or if not empty-handed, then just maybe, you know, a couple of items. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm having a look through here. I'm just browsing a few of the stalls. I'm trying to focus mainly on the private sellers, of course, because that's generally where the best goodies are. But of course, I don't ignore the dealers. I have bought off dealers from this car boot and other car boots in the past. Um, but generally, you know, obviously you want to stick mainly towards private sellers. Because that's going to be where the, the biggest profits lie, essentially. But, you know, we're just having a browse. There's plenty of toys on offer. Plenty of uh, the normal things on offer. In fact, I'm just coming across some wallpaper here that I might actually pick up in the end. You'll have to wait and see in the uh, whole video. But it's just to the side of me there. I don't know whether I'm going to pick it up in this clip or not. Oh, there we go. I've just done it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, no. Am I moving it to the side? Oh, no. There we go. I've actually looked at it. So, yeah. It's some Kelly Hoppen wallpaper. I got intrigued. I, I do like having a look at the wallpaper and just seeing whether it's worth it. Some of them are actually worth it, like the Laura. Ashley and stuff um, so yeah find out if I pick them up later on in the video um, but yeah I'll leave it here for this little narration guys and I'll let you get on with the rest of the car boot in peace and then we'll hit up some charity shops So it is about 20 minutes, half an hour later now from the last clip and I have finished the car boot. I've got another bag, so I've got five bags in total from the car boot today. Considering it is an indoor one, I'm pretty happy with that. It's now coming up to 10.30, so I've been in there around an hour. Now that's not normally uh, the length of time I would spend at a car boot. Normally I'd spend about two to three hours at a car boot, but with it being an indoor one, I kind of usually spend a little bit less time in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around a few of the charity shops that are open today. There's there's only about four or five maybe open in town today because it's a Sunday uh, but still we'll see what we can get I'll do a bit of filming and then obviously I will do the whole segment when I get back also before I forget because I will forget uh, someone came up to me in the car boot called Josh and he said uh, I've watched a few of your videos um, so yeah that was really really nice so I had a little bit of a chat to Josh really nice guy um, so if you're watching Josh hi there and thank you very much for coming up to me I really appreciate it when people come up and just say hi um, especially when you know you've got that similar interest of reselling and you just have a little bit of a chat about it I most probably will actually see him round the charity shops in a second because he said he was going to go around the charity shops as well uh, so yeah anyway we'll get on with the vlog and uh, I will do a little bit of charity shop picking <laughs> So, 
it's very quiet in town today. I don't normally come in on a Sunday, obviously. I normally come in on a Saturday. Um, but yeah, really, really quiet. I've done two of the charity shops so far. I don't think uh, Cancer Research is open, which would be the next one normally. But obviously, if it's not open, then I can't do that one. I will have a double check, though. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, my mum's just texted me to say we need some veg. So I've got to go to Sainsbury's to get some veg. Uh, we're having a roast tonight, which I'm very much looking forward to. Because uh, we don't often have roasts anymore. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. And um, yeah, I've got to get some veg for her so that then she can cook cook our roast tonight so that'll be interesting um and yeah i'll go and do you a few i think maybe there's one or two more open today not many um there really isn't many open on a sunday which is a shame but uh it doesn't really matter anyway because i've got the bulk of the items from the car boot So it's about an hour and a half later now. I've done the charity shops. I did actually see Josh again. We had a chat outside one of the charity shops for about 25 minutes. Just kind of shooting the breeze about reselling. Um, also, I bumped into my auntie unexpectedly. Well, I didn't really bump into her, but I was walking outside a coffee shop. She texted me saying, you've been spotted. You've been spotted. And I said, where are you? And then she said, I'm in uh, this coffee shop. So I walked in and she was sat there with a friend. So it was nice to meet her friend as well. Uh, so I had a bit of a chat with those two um, and now obviously as I said earlier on I've got to get some veg from Sainsbury's for the roast tonight so I'm just gonna go and do that and then yeah that'll be about it for this vlog so uh, yeah been an interesting day today got some good stuff got some good items and yeah can't really complain so I've done the Sainsbury's shop um, I've just been informed by text that my mum and dad are in town and they're in Matalan so uh, who says we uh, try and go and find them I suppose try and go and find them that wasn't english was it but anyway let's go and find them and uh, yeah let's let's include them on this vlog otherwise they wouldn't be on this vlog that'd be terrible wouldn't it we can't have that so let's go and find them hey say hi to the vlog Hello. Oh, okay, yeah <laughs> hey i met a fan i met a fan i had to Did sign an know? autograph no really? I'm, I'm joking i'm joking oh. Didn't have to sign an autograph. Oh, very good. What are you two doing in town anyway? Just come for a bit of fresh air after. I've got the veg. Ver 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 oh, there's the veg. Thank you. Wait, I can't, I can't even get it off my hand. My hand's stuck. There we there go. go. Just into uh, Sainsbury's. Right. So that's me done for my trip into town today. Uh, I'm glad I got my mum and dad on the vlog. I was hoping that I'd be able to find them in Matalan and uh, get them on there. So yeah, I'm going to go home now and uh, I'm going to get recording the whole section of this video. Beerming. Don't you just love it in a cup of tea instead of on your toothpaste? But let me get on with this whole video. You've not come here to see a little bit of crappy comedy. You've come here to see a haul. So why don't I share with you that haul? That haul from the car boots and that haul from the charity shop. So without further ado, we're going to get these things up. Actually, there is a little bit more of further ado, actually. Um, so... I've done the whole dollar prices again. I'm so excited. Oh God, I'm too excited today. I shouldn't be recording this whole video today because I'm too excited and you can really see it. I mean, it radiates, doesn't it? It's crazy. Anyway, so I've done the dollar price again, but I've gone even one up now. I've gone one up on my conscientiousness. And most people at the big five personality test place, they said that I would never be conscientious. Look at this, I'm so bloody conscientious, it's brilliant. Anyway, yeah, I'm far too excitable. I'm, I'm almost verging on mentally insane with this whole video. So just, I'm just gonna calm myself down. Right, okay, all right, all right, I'm all right now. All right, so I've done the dollar price total as well as the pound price total for my total spend and my total sales that I'm expecting to get back. So that's very exciting. But we're going to keep it a, a normal level of excitement with a little bit of a grin and a little bit of a, a change in the tone of voice, but not my crazy ads level excitement. So we're cool. Anyway. Now 
without further ado, we're going to get on with the haul. So I'll uh, get up the first item for you. Shall we start with the charity shop stuff? I hear you say yes. So yes, we will. Uh, so first off, we got, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? This really lovely hand painted. It's from Greece. I think it says on the back there, hand painted in Greece. You see these all the time. Normally they're from Spain or Portugal, as I've mentioned several times before in haul videos when I've got them. Um, but this one's from Greece and I've never seen one of these um, in the shape of a fish like this so this is really really cool now I'm not doing any research on this but I've gone for a standard price um, if I do some research and it turns out to be worth more than this and I'll put it on for more I can't really see it being worth more than this though so that's why I just opted for this item in particular just to do a standard price on um, pretty much all the other items I've done research on it's just these two charity shop items I haven't I've just opted for standard pricing so yeah I paid £2.99 for that now we're gonna get the little post-it note up so £2.99 cost or three dollars and sixty nine no three dollars and sixty nine so then I don't have to say the word that I couldn't say last week if you haven't watched last week's episode quick plug you know go out go back check it out maybe um but yeah so three dollars sixty nine cent uh, oh no oh, oh for god's sake that was automatic um right okay £15 plus postage I've gone for this as my price uh, or eighteen dollars fifty so there's my little prices there, $2.99, $2 $3.69, uh, 15 or 1850 So yeah, pretty interesting on that one, nice little uh, item there. So yeah, not much else to be said for that, uh, but it is just a cool looking little item and I always enjoy picking these up. So final item from the charity shops is this terracotta bowl here, really, really nice. Uh, it's got this lovely design to the inside here, loads of different fruit. It's really, really vibrant and lovely. It's got these kind of little blobs or balls around the, around the side here, um, kind of in a crisscross design. It's kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of kind of noughts and crosses and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not that at all, but it, it does just remind me a little bit of that. Um, so yeah, I paid £3.49 for this. I don't know whether you can see it. The sticker is in there, £3.49. It has got an inscribed design on the back there uh, that tells me a little bit of information, but I can hardly read it. Uh, I think it says Jose Cantora, Cantuno, or so I don't know, something like that. But you won't be able to see it. You can probably just see it in the light a little bit there. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of inscribed design, and then there's some sort of mark there, probably relating to a, a, a potter's mark or something like that. So yeah, £3.49 on that one I paid. And We've got the little post-it note here, so three forty-nine or four dollars thirty, twenty pound plus postage. I'm thinking of going on that one, twenty pound plus post, or as you can see there, four uh, twenty-four dollars and sixty-seven. So yeah. Pretty happy with that one. Nice little profit on that one from £3.49. It will be one of those items that take a little bit longer to go, but I love picking these up. I love listing them. I love dealing with them. I don't know what it is, but they just appeal to me. They're just nice items. So, car boot items now. So, this first item here is a WWE. I think it's a World Championship uh, wrestle, wrestling belt. Heavyweight champion wrestling belt. Nice one, this. I paid two fifty for it. It was one of the first purchases at the car boot, and I was actually like, said. Um, she said four quid or three quid originally. She said something like that anyway. And I must have offered around two quid and she didn't accept it. But she did accept 250. And I was on and I was thinking, oh, that's a little bit much. It's a little bit more than I wanted to pay. But I did check on complete and sold. And there has one been one of these belts that have sold for 14.99. The exact same one on complete and sold sold for 14.99 free postage. So I'm still fairly happy with that margin. And considering it was one of the first pickups of the day, normally, you know, the first couple of pickups you make, they're not brilliant. They're not as good as your, your your next few pickups, so I'm pretty happy with that one considering. Um, and I've got the uh, prices up here: two pound fifty or three dollars oh eight, fourteen ninety nine free postage, or um, eighteen dollars and forty nine there. So yeah, pretty cool on that one. So next, something I've seen. I think it was Nick that used to pick these up, but used to pick them up. Uh, I don't think he really picked them up uh, brand new and sealed. I think he mainly had them when they were used. And it's something that I've actually been kind of semi looking out for. Like I've always thought, oh, that's an in that would be an interesting item to pick up. Um, but I've never really seen them. Um, but there's these Cube World and this is brand new and sealed. I paid £3 for these. Um, or what's that? So $3.70. Uh, £16 free postage is, is what I'm going to charge. And that is what? $19.73 is it there? Yeah, $19.73. 
73. So yeah, interesting little item there. Always good when you pick things up brand new and sealed. I've touched upon this so many times. I just like picking things up that are brand new and sealed because I'm lazy and they're easier to deal with. Um, so if you can get things that are brand new and sealed, go for it and especially if you make a decent margin on them then it's a win-win really because you're not spending as much time dealing with them and you can obviously still make a decent bit of money also it means that you can get on to do other jobs you know do more within your business if you're choosing to pick up things that are, uh, that are efficient to list and to photograph if you're picking up all items that take forever to deal with you know you, you're spending half an hour cleaning them or testing them before you're listing them unless they're like a real Really good item like a really high value item which then warrants the time if it's not that if they're lower value items then you know it, it's kind of drawing a lot of time out of your business but, but you know if you get a hundred pound item like a hundred pound hi-fi or a hundred pound VHS player or whatever it doesn't really matter that you're spending a bit of time testing them because you know it's a good value item um, but yeah I always just try and pick up brand new sealed items where I can because it's just so easy to photograph I don't have to do anything with them it's just so quick so yeah that's that one there so, I got five paintings for £3.50. Can you believe that? Five paintings for £3.50. Absolutely incredible. I, I wasn't expecting it. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with what I've got. So I'll show you a few of these paintings next, I think. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm into paintings at the moment. I really, really do like them. Um, I'm digging the, the, the art scene, the painting scene, even though, as I've mentioned countless times, I don't know anything about it. I just like picking them up. I just, uh, I just like looking at paintings and like dealing with them. So here we've got this kind of... Uh, it's almost like an African, is it, is it African scene or maybe Native American scene or something? I'm not sure, South African maybe? Uh, so, not South African, South American maybe? I'm not sure, something like, it's either African or South American or something scene there. Really, really lovely. It looks like it's an oil one, this one. Um, and I don't think there's any signature on it. I can't, can you, can you see a signature there? I can't see a signature on that one. Um, but anyway, this was 70p because the five paintings cost me a total of 350. So 70p a painting. Can you believe it? 70p for that. In a charity shop, they, they might have this stickered up at four or five quid or something. So yeah, 70p for that. I'm really, really happy with that one. So 70p or 86 cents, 12 99 to 14 99 plus post is what I thought originally. Now I want to clarify, that's what I thought when I was writing these post-it notes an hour ago, but my pricing's already changed a little bit on this one. I'm thinking maybe I should go 20 quid plus my post. So I might go a little bit higher than that on this one, um, but that would be uh, plus my postage, 12 99 14 99 plus post, uh, or that works out at 16.02 to 18 dollars 49 and then that would be obviously plus my post as well so yeah pretty nice on that one from 70p into potentially maybe 15 or even if i do price a bit higher 20 pound i'm really really happy with that margin nice little margin there so next another painting here now it's in a very light frame it's kind of like a light i suppose it's made of bamboo i'm not 100 percent sure but it looks like it there, doesn't it? That looks like bamboo there. And we've got these ships. Again, it looks like an oil painting, this one. Really, really nicely done. It's by Faco or Taco or something like that. It's either F-A-C-K-O or T-A-C-K-O. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like this has kind of more of an oriental style to it. It might be the bamboo, it might be the way of the, the style of the ships and stuff, but it does seem to have a bit of an oriental style to it to me. Now, I did research this artist's name. I put a couple of different things in. I couldn't find anything. Obviously, I only did a very quick bit of research before this whole video, so I might be able to find it if I do a bit more digging. Um, but I've put on this 20 to 25 pound plus post, Obviously, again, it would have cost me 70p or 86 cents, and that will be $24.67 to $30.83. So, in that kind of range, the 20 to 25 pound range. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to go on that. I probably will have to come down from 25 to 20. I think that I'll probably 20 is probably going to be more likely. Um, but you never know, I might do a bit of research and it might turn, I might find something out about this artist and it might be worth a little bit more, but I can't really see it, seeing it being low more but it is still you know i can appreciate the painting it's still quite a nice painting uh, and there's some good work gone into it as well so yeah that's that one there 
So again included in the five paintings were these two here. Now I'm going to be selling these two as a pair. They're from this same artist. I can't work out what that signature says. I'll have to work it out before I uh, list it of course. But I can't work it out. In these lovely frames here. Just nice little paintings. These are what people like. People like small nice little paintings like these to hang up on the wall. They don't necessarily like massively huge paintings because sometimes you can't find a space for really really big paintings. So we like these small nice nice little paintings like this. These scenes always do well especially with you know I, I don't know I'm assuming here but I would imagine that older people possibly even middle-aged people as well like these kind of paintings. I mean I would class myself I know obviously I've not got the life experience to be middle-aged but I would class myself in my mind as I have a little bit of that middle-aged tendency so you know hence the paintings on the wall there and stuff um, so therefore when I look at this like, oh yeah you know I can see someone I'm going for that who's maybe 45 50 or possibly even older age than that and uh, and, and therefore I don't know it may, it may be those people who go for it but yeah there's this one here the artist signature is there it begins with a H but I can't see it I don't know someone might be able to uh, spot it for me I'm really not sure it's a bit yeah it's a bit hard to see but there's that one there anyway and of course there's another one here similar sort of style so this is why I'm thinking of pairing them up so there's that one there, you got a few trees with this house here. It looks like somewhere in Spain or France or something like that. It could be a French or Spanish scene there. But again, it's by the same artist, so I thought these two are a nice little bundle. So what I've done with these is I've gone, just let me put that down there. I've gone for, uh, so these cost me £1.40 because there's two of them. Uh, so £1.40, $1.73 cost. I'm going to go, and it might be a touch high, but I think I could achieve it. I'm going to go for $34.99 plus my postage on these. I may end up having to come down to around $29.99. I was originally thinking maybe $40, so I may still shoot for $40, go a little bit higher. Um, but generally, I think I'm not going to take less than $30 because £15 a painting, that's a very, very good deal, even though there may not be anything spectacular. That's still a very good deal for, for what someone's getting there. And that would come in at $43.15 there, plus my postage, of course, as well. So, yeah, $34.99 plus post on those. Pretty happy with those ones. So, next, I got an old favourite articulate. It's coming up to Christmas. Of course, I'm going to uh, buy this board game if I see it. I paid £2 for this, and essentially, I'm looking to get back. Well, I checked on eBay, and I checked on Amazon. On Amazon, it's going brand new for 15 quid. I didn't click into the listing, actually, on the seller app, but it said 14 plus zero post. Postage, so I'm guessing it would have been about 14.99. FBA offers might be coming in a little bit more than that if I'd obviously clicked into the into the product page. Um, but still, not a lot of money on Amazon. Come close to Christmas, it might go up in price in terms of the brand new price and the used price. On eBay, similar story. It's not going for huge amounts uh, new. In fact, I've seen a few listings that have gone for around a 20 quid, possibly even a little bit more than 20 quid brand new. But most of them, maybe 15, 18 quid, something like that, 20 quid maybe. Um, but yeah, used, it's not going for a lot of money. £10 plus post I've seen it for, £12 plus post I've seen it for, not really any higher than that. I don't even think I've seen one for £15 plus post. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to send this to Amazon or, or sell it on eBay, but I'm guessing that I can get around 20, 12 to £15 plus my postage, possibly 15 quid because we're coming close to quarter four, close to Christmas. So I paid £2 or uh, $2.47 uh, and I'm going to hopefully sell it for 12 to £15 pound plus my postage which in dollars is 14.80 to 18.50 is that I can't quite read it there 18.50 um, obviously again plus my postage that would be so yeah pretty happy with that one you know it's a bread and butter item it's nothing incredible but these board games from Drum and Park yeah it is a Drum and Park board game these board games actually are really easy to check um, a few of the other ones that have had chain reaction and the logo game they're pretty easy to check there's not a lot of parts to them really so uh, it, you know it doesn't take a lot of time to check these or anything so I always like dealing with them um, and you know you can still get a bit of money back from them. so yeah that's that one there so next we've got a brand new and sealed my monopoly or the 
the light there, the photography light I've got up there is kind of not, he's taking issue with the, the, the seal there. But uh, my Monopoly, now I've actually seen this go crazy on prices. I've seen it like as low as about 11 quid on Amazon, 10 or 11 quid. And I'm pretty sure I've seen it as high as about 35 quid over the years uh, of obviously just sending things to Amazon. I've had this board game a few times over the years as well. And as I say, I've seen the price all over the place. So um, the lady wanted f uh, five quid. I paid her £3.50. We negotiated a little bit. Um, but I, I was pretty uncomfortable paying £3.50 on this board game because I thought, oh my God, I'm probably going to check Amazon and it's probably only 11 or 12 quid and I've probably made a mistake here. Weirdly enough, the price has shot up again and it's all the way up at, what, what do I have here? £28 on Amazon. Now that's going to be free postage, of course, because I'm selling with FBA. Um, I paid £3.50 or $4.32 and uh, that will also translate into $34.53 from 28 quid obviously. So 28 quid or $34 basically, um, pretty easy to ship off obviously this one, pretty easy to list on Amazon and it's great because it can just go in my quarter four pile and again, uh, in fact actually you might have already seen my quarter four pile because I'm actually recording these videos in a different order. So this video will go on the show after next. So you might have actually already seen my quarter four pile, but this will go in my quarter four pile. And if you haven't already seen it, it will definitely be coming next week. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting item. Uh, you know, nice, easy item, nice, easy profit uh, during Q4 as well. So next we've got this big heavy book box set. Now I have had this so many times in the time I've been reselling. I'll just flip it around to the front there. Read with Biff, Chip and Kipper. I must have had this about four or five times or something, quite a lot, maybe three times, but something like that. Feels like I've had it quite a lot anyway. And it's a 44 bo uh, book box set or something like that anyway. So there's a lot of books in here. I have checked it. It is complete. There's basically eight books in each level. It's a, it's a kind of... Uh, leveled reading system so you got levels one to six and then you've also got like a little handbook in here as well so yeah pretty interesting really really good for kids obviously I was learning under this Biff Chip and Kipper books as well when I was in primary school because I'm not really that old I know that might make other people feel old so I could lie and say that I wasn't reading this in primary school but don't think that would help any of us really, would it? But anyway, so um, yeah, I was reading under this. Unfortunately, as you can probably tell, uh, this is all coming away here. I don't, I don't know whether you can see that. If I, if I actually let go of this, it'll fall a bit. So, and I don't want to put too much weight on it. But yeah, this is all kind of coming away here. You'll probably get a better view of it there actually, but it's coming away. Um, now, this, I think this had gone as high on eBay at some point uh, of, of around. Uh, maybe 40 quid, something like that, 30, 30 to 40 quid it used to be, or I think I've seen it at that ages and ages ago. I paid a fiver for it, in fact, where's the post -it? It's over here. So I paid a fiver for this, um, hoping that it would still be around 30 quid plus post, something like that. But unfortunately, it has come down. Now, I've seen some go pre-owned condition, even with a little bit of wear on the box, for around 25 quid. But the majority have gone for around 20 quid. And then there's been some other ones that have gone for less than that. But I think 20 to 25 quid is achievable. 25 quid, you might be waiting a little bit longer. So I may go just 20 quid plus my postage, just get it out. It's not the best margin from a fiver, but it's still, there's a little bit of a margin there. There's a little bit of profit there. And I'm still fairly happy I picked it up. So £5 or $6.17, 20 to £25 plus postage, or $24.67 to $30.83. That's what I'm going to be uh, sort of looking to get back on that one there. So yeah, that's that one. Always a nice one to pick up. If you can get it for even cheaper than a fiver, then definitely pick it up. If you can get it for around a fiver, it just depends on what your margins are like. If you want to, because I know some people don't particularly like picking something up for a fiver to get 20 quid back they'd rather pick up something for maybe two or three pound to get 20 quid back i know where you know people's margins are different people want different margins and stuff and want different profit levels so yeah that's that one there anyway so pretty uh, happy with that little book box set there oh actually this was hiding under another painting so this was the fifth item in the five paintings for three pound fifty deal i did so it's not actually a painting this one it's like a a metalwork thing. I don't even know what you'd 
classis. I'm not even I'm not even entirely sure. It's like a it's something to do with metal work anyway, but I'm not sure if you wouldn't class it as an engraving. You wouldn't class it as a painting or anything like that. You wouldn't class it as a sculpture. So I don't know what you'd really class it, but uh yeah, you know, it's wall decor anyway. It's metal wall decor. Um and it's got this ship on it. It's by this um artist named Maguan, Maguan or something like that. Anyway, I've typed him into eBay. There are actually a few of his items on eBay. Unfortunately, they don't go for a lot of money. Um, there's ones that have gone for, well, there's a, basically there's only two or three on complete and sold. There's one that's gone for 20 quid, not this exact one at all. It's a completely different one. And there's one gone for maybe like 15 or 12.99 plus postage. So unfortunately, it's maybe not as much as I was thinking. I was maybe thinking 20 to 25 rather than maybe 15 to 20 or something like that. Um, but I'm going to still put it on, of course. Um, I paid, as I say, paid 70p for this again, 86 cent. Uh, I'm going to put it on for 14.99 plus post, uh, which in dollars is $18.49. Again, that would be plus my postage. So yeah, 14.99 plus my post on that one. So it's an interesting item. It is just a bit of a shame that it's not worth any more, really. But yeah, that's that one anyway. So next, this is a bit of an interesting piece. So this is a uh, piece of artwork. Again, I apologise about the light there. I'm going to have to kind of get it like that. So this is a piece of artwork by Helen Bradley. Now, I don't want well, to say it's a piece of artwork. I don't know, actually. I've been looking at it for a while before I did this whole video, trying to work out whether it's a print or whether it's an original, because the lady said to me, that's an original. Um, and she wanted a fiver for it. And I've been looking and looking and looking. I can't work it out. Now, I've not got a magnifying glass to hand. If I had a magnifying glass to hand, I could probably say whether it's a print or whether it's, a, you know, an actual painting. Because generally, you're just looking for little things in the, in the... I mean, it's little things in the paper and stuff. Well, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I can just kind of tell. I just... I just look at it and for a magnifying glass, I can just tell. I don't know how to describe it. It's I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's weird. Um, but anyway, I haven't done that. I'm leaning, unfortunately, towards more that it's a print. However, it still could be uh, an original watercolour. Um, now, if it's an original... I don't know. It could be worth hundreds of pounds. It really could. Uh, there's one of these Helen Bradleys on, not nothing to do with this one, completely different painting, but it's on for like 700 quid or something ridiculous. It's an original one. Uh, the prints tend to go anywhere from about 15 to 30 or 40 quid, with some exceptions. So certain prints that are slightly rarer seem to go for, you know, a little bit higher, maybe 60 to 100, or at least listed for around that as well. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. Even if it's a print, what I've done is basically I've put, obviously this cost me four quid, uh, it's stickered up at a fiver, but I asked her if she would take four and she said yes. So four pound or four dollars ninety three for this one. And I've put down here a price of 30 pound plus postage or 37 dollars or potentially it could be worth a lot more if it is a, um, you know, an original. I don't know. I'm not going to list this for 30 quid plus post yet. I'm going to do more research on it because I could shoot myself in the foot listing this for, for that price if it is an original one. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I might have to message a few people or something to get a bit more grounding with this artist or do a bit more research with it. I do know a few people actually deal with a bit more painting, so you never know. They might be able to help me out a bit more um, rather than me just trying to stumble across some information on my own, really. Um, but yeah, interesting piece. Potentially could be a bit of money. You know, even if not, it's going to be 30 quid. So minimum, I'm going to get a decent profit out of it. I don't know, maybe 20 quid or just over profit. So yeah, still pretty happy with that either way. And then finally from the car boot again, I got these Kelly Hoppen. Now, this is the lady, if I'm not mistaken, off Dragon's Den, or she was on off Dragon's Den. I don't know whether she's still in, on it. I've not watched it for a few seasons, but she was on it. Um, so yeah, Kelly Hoppen. Um, and these are wallpaper, they're brand new and sealed. And these actually seem to go for decent money. I mean, some rolls go for around 12 50 a roll, something like that. So I picked these up for a fiver. There's actually five rolls here. Cheers three of them i'll just put them down there oh no i'm gonna cover up my actually you know what i'll put them down there because i'm gonna cover up my post-it note if i don't actually if i put them up there so yeah 
there's five of these rolls. These are uh, all the same, it's the same batch, yeah, they're all the same batch number. I did check uh, under the table. These were under the table at one of the car boot, uh, car boot stalls. Um, so yeah, I did check that. They're all the same batch number, 003. Uh, runner is gold, and then pattern number is 10, 30, 14. Now, I could only find one of these on complete and sold, and one roll had gone for, well, they accepted a best offer, but they originally had them up for this one roll for £10 plus postage. So maybe they accepted it off for like six quid or eight quid or something like that plus the postage. Now I've got five of these, which obviously is more appealing. You know, the more you've got, it tends to be more appealing with wallpaper. So I'm thinking of going around £60 plus postage on these five rolls. I'd say I paid a fiver, so if I could get 60 quid, I'd be very, very pleased with that. I may need to come down to around 50, possibly around that would be more suitable. Um, but if I have to i'm still not bothered five pound into 50 is very very good um so five pound on these six dollars 17 60 pound plus postage or 74 dollars so i'll just kind of lift that up there for you so you see five dollars six seventeen 60 quid for, uh, plus post, 74 dollars. So yeah, pretty happy with those, and that is everything from the car boot. So now what I'm just going to very quickly say is a kind of a roundup. So I've got some figures down here on this sheet of paper. So my total spend was 31 pound and 98 pence, or 39 dollars and 44 cent. Um, my total sales value is 299 pound, excluding postage. So there'd be post to obviously add on top of that but I'm not going to really see any of that money anyway um, and then that also equates to $368.77 um, and potentially I've wrote down actually with the potential for that painting if it is an original maybe I'll, I'll get more than that so from £31.98 to get £299 back, back plus my postage of course um, I'm really, really happy with that. I mean, that's almost a, a 10 times return. I mean, this is just turnover. This is just sales value. But you can obviously estimate there's going to be a decent profit on that. So, you know, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that return. So, yeah, that is just some figures just to end upon there. And, yeah, I will see you in the next segment. So, see you very soon, guys. So today we are taking back all of the quarter stuff, four stuff that I've amassed over the year uh, back home to obviously process and put on Amazon FBA. Uh, you can see basically it's a full car. It is like an absolute full car of stuff, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to get this back and I'm going to share it with you guys in more detail in this video or in the segment of this video. Uh, and you can see kind of what I've amassed over the year. So all the stuff is back at home now. As you can see, loads of stuff goes around uh, behind there as well. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool. Uh, obviously, what I'm going to do is share it with you in a little bit more detail. Obviously, I can't go into every him because it would, just, it would just be far too long video uh, but i'll just kind of do overviews and stuff with you in the next part of the video um and yeah really really happy to get this get it all out and uh, over the next few weeks get it processed and get it listed on mainly amazon fba uh, and make me some money over christmas well it's all been moved upstairs now that will do nicely for quarter four plenty of stuff there i would say maybe it's a little bit more than last year i can't quite judge the quantity i did do a video last year on my channel uh, i think i titled it my q4 amazon fba stockpile or something so if you want to compare it to last year you can just go and search my channel for that video um but i think it probably is uh, a little bit bigger than last year maybe i'm not sure but yeah really cool to have some good stock to be getting on with so hi guys and welcome to the kind of it's almost a haul video i suppose you could call it for my quarter four stockpile now obviously you will have seen it it's a pretty huge amount of stuff and I've got about 65% of it on the bed. It's pretty daunting, actually, looking at it all here. Um, I've actually got another five or six boxes in the other room. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to get through all of this. 
there's no way I'm going to be able to kind of really go in depth on any of it. So basically what I've done is I've got prices for pretty much all of this. There's maybe a few things that either I don't know my buy price on or a few things that I might not know the sell price on. But for the majority of it, I know prices on it. I'm going to get something up. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you sort of how many units I've got of it because obviously a lot of this stuff is RA. So I've got multiples of it and we're going to do it like that. I'll share with you a few of the things that aren't doing so well for me I share with a few obviously a few of the things that are doing well for me and that will get me a strong profit because obviously with our way uh, especially with Lego as well obviously doing a bit of Lego investing um, you know some things don't work out some things do work out so that's how we're gonna do it um, for those of you who don't like the rambling you are in luck today because this is just gonna have to be a very very quick haul for those of you who like the rambling don't worry it'll be back at some point in the future uh, but yeah let's get on let me share with you uh, my quarter four stockpile um, or at least the, the majority of it and uh, yeah let's just see uh, what I've got to send up to Amazon and what I've got to sell on eBay this Q4 so race night host your own uh, race game or whatever it's called uh, two pound in age UK this one some of these things you will have seen in charity shop halls in the past over the last six to eight months but a lot of it you won't have seen because the RA stuff I don't share at the time of purchase for obvious reasons um, and then I'll just, I'll just obviously share it close to Q4 because a lot of the stuff that I picked up ages ago you can't get for the deals anymore so I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot um, by, by doing that or anything um, so yeah two pound on this one Seems to go for 27 quid on Amazon, so a nice little margin on that one there. So, articulate your life here. I paid £6 for this in a charity shop, which, which to me was, to be honest, a little bit much. But it currently goes for £14.99 on Amazon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, my God, there's not much of a margin in that. There will be come close to Christmas. Board games like this always go up. I've actually just been doing a little bit of research on Keeper on the graphs. Not for this one specifically, because for some reason, the listing that I want to pull up on Keeper wasn't on Keeper. I don't know why, but I did do a little bit of research on the next items you're going to see, which is also Articulate, and they went really, really high at, uh, last Christmas, so no doubt this one will go up. Possibly not a lot. It might only go up to maybe 20 quid, 25 quid, something like that, but that's what I'm going to be shooting for on that. Probably go 25 quid, and then if it comes to December and it's not really gone up huge amounts, I will just clear it. I'll get it out. I'll get my money out of it, and that's that on that one. Because as I say in the whole video, I did mention, oh, it might be a little bit too high, six quid paying for that one. So it might have been a little bit of a mis misjudgment from, it, from me there. But hopefully, uh, as I say, that will go up. So that's that one there anyway. So next, I got two, ver well, two, uh, not different versions, but two of the same versions of Articulate. I believe I paid a five or each in Sainsbury's for these. Um, and these currently go, again, for 14 99 on FBA. But, uh, well, not on FBA, but Amazon are in stock at 14 99 but FBA offers are coming in at £24. And also last year, Amazon did go out of stock in December. And the price shot up all the way to a high of 37 quid. Uh, I think it was on the 16th or 17th of December last year. So potentially that's what's going to happen again this year. They're definitely going to go up higher than the 15 quid that they're currently at. Generally, it's a bit different with Amazon. If you don't know... Um, Prices seem to just shoot up in December. It's not like eBay. I mean, yeah, eBay prices do shoot up and stuff. But sometimes with eBay, prices stay fairly consistent. But with Amazon, prices are very, very deceptive. You can look at prices in October and they can be way low. And then look at them in December and they'll be crazy high. So, yeah, on that one, I'm going to go high. I don't know what I'm going to price it at um, specifically as I'm scanning it into Amazon in the next day or two. But I would imagine, I'd, I guess I'd go about 30 or 35 and just wait till December. I'm not in the kind of place of, oh, well, I'm going to sell them for 20 quid or 25 quid in November. I'd rather get 30 or 35 quid in December. That's just the way I like to work. I like to get proper top whack if I can. Um, but yeah, so that's those two there anyway. Logo board game. Now, I can't remember whether this was the one I got for four quid at a car boot sale or whether this was the one that I got from Sainsbury's again for around a fiver. But either way, this goes for 20 quid at the moment. Possibly at Christmas, as I say, it could shoot up a little bit more. I don't 
don't think this uh, the logo board game goes up like crazy at Christmas. It possibly might go 25 quid. It possibly might touch 30 quid or something. But I can't see it going crazy high. But considering there's already a bit of a decent margin in that from a fiver into 20 quid. So I'm fairly happy on that one already, even if I was just selling it for 20. But as I say, I'll probably price it a little bit higher than that anyway, as prices increase in December. Right, so I've got three of these smart ass board games. Now these are currently on this seems to be a new version of the box as well. It's a it's a different version than the older version of the box. Um, but again, I got these in Sainsbury's. I believe I paid a fiver again. And these are on for £15.97, I think it said, on Amazon. Again, we're in October. Uh, you know, towards December, prices will rise on these. I'm guessing I'll probably go around 25 quid on these, something like that. And then obviously they should get picked off around that December. I don't know, they may go higher than that. So I might need to do a bit more research. But again, I did look on Keeper for these ones. I didn't look on Keeper for loads of things, all of this or anything like that. I just looked on it for a few things and looked on it. I couldn't find this anywhere. I couldn't find it on Keeper. I couldn't find this exact listing. There was other listings of Smartest on there, but not this one. So so yeah, really odd, um, but I do want to do a bit more research into that and see if it was on there last year. I mean, if it's a new box, it might not have been on there, it might not have been a listing for it. Uh, but if I can find a listing for it, then I can work out how high it might actually go in December. So yeah, that's those three there, so just put those down there. So, two versions of this, well not two different versions, but two of these uh, 20Q, these are version 2 RV, yeah, version 2, silver one and a red one, you can sell different variations of colour of these 20Qs on the same listing on Amazon, so don't worry about that, um, obviously these go for, a well they're currently at 40 quid, which for me is perfect, because I think I paid 12 99 for this one and 14 99 for this one, so still a margin in it for me, but you know, I think I have sold one of these at Christmas before for 49 99 of the years I've been doing this anyway so potentially uh, I could get 50 quid so potentially 12 or 15 pound into 50 quid there but if not definitely 40 quid so that's those two there now this is a very weird board game uh three pound i paid in in a charity shop ages ago pinch and pass pinch and pass um and for some reason it goes for about 20 quid brand new on ebay but then on amazon there's a listing it's 47,000 in toys and games so it's a pretty decent rank you know it's not the slowest rank ever or anything like that and there's no fba offers and merchant fulfilled are coming in at 97 pounds so fba you know you're talking like 120 something like that but i really don't know and it oh, this is the thing with amazon it always puzzles me because some things are really cheap on ebay but then crazy high on amazon and it really makes me a little bit wary i'm thinking hang on can I actually get that for this board game? I'm going to send it up. I'm going to price it high. But I may actually look at this one. And which, if it doesn't go, you know, within, I don't know, X time scale, I'm going to really rapidly reduce the price because it might be that someone's just got it on pretty high. But the rank is actually pretty good. So I don't know. It might be that it's just really, really crazy high on Amazon. But from three quid, I'm going to do all right with that anyway because um, even if I don't get 120, I'm going to get some decent money for it. So uh, yeah, you know, even, if it's at half that or even less than half that i'm still going to make a decent profit on it so yeah three pound from that one seen it squabble now i never normally pick this up even brand new and sealed because to be honest i didn't think it was worth anything but i paid three pound yeah three pound in the charity shop there a while back and again I probably showed this on a whole video possibly maybe not i'm not sure but um it actually goes for 24.99 on amazon brand new and sealed which was a shock to me because i didn't think this was worth anything even brand new and sealed so yeah that's what i'm going to go on that one i mean i might I might go a little bit more. I might go 30 quid because obviously Christmas is approaching and stuff. But from 3 quid, I'm happy with that. It's not like it's an RA item or anything. It doesn't owe me loads of money or anything. So I'm still happy even if I just got 24.99. But I probably may, I might shoot a little bit higher than that on that one. So yeah, that's that one there. So some brick heads that I bought earlier on in the year. I paid £5 for each of these. We were clearing them in Asda for 50% off. They were normally 10 quid. And I was a bit nervous to pick these up because I thought, oh, these are going to do well. Um, it's the uh, 41616 Hermione Granger Brickheads and it's act they've actually done surprisingly well. I've got four of these by the way. Yeah, they've done surprisingly well. I think we're around 20, is it 26.99 on Amazon. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that from a fiver into 27 quid. Considering that this is RA, that's an incredible margin. Obviously, I've had to wait six months or so, uh, kind of semi or very, very short term investing in them. Um, but I don't mind waiting six months to get a fantastic margin on some RA items like that. So yeah, that's those. 
Now, I don't even know where these came from. I don't know where. I, I think these might have been in the whole Sainsbury's lot again, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure on price I paid for these. I'm guessing if it was in the Sainsbury's lot, it'd be around a five or something like that, because they were clearing a lot of things, a lot of board games at a five if these came from Sainsbury's. I think these go currently for around £15. I've not checked on Keeper or Camel to see what kind of they did last year in November, December, but I'm assuming that these will go up a little Little bit I can't see them going up crazy prices um, maybe 20 quid 25 quid something like that if they go up um, I can't see them going crazy with crazy high anyway so yeah uh, possibly I paid a five on them if it is that I got them from Sainsbury's in that kind of clearance thing we did um, and yeah maybe 20 quid maybe 25 quid if they do go up it does make me think on these though because these are kind of things that sometimes they don't go up these Ravensburger this Big Ben puzzle sometimes Times they just tend to stay around a, a similar price even at Christmas but potentially there is uh, something there that will obviously mean that they may go up um, so yeah that's those two there anyway right so these were something obviously I wouldn't have shared at the time but I'm gonna share now anyway but these were absolutely brilliant so these were the Brickheads 4274 I wish I got more of these I mean isn't it always the way that you want you know the good things you're always like oh well I wish I got more of them but you know I really did and I knew at the time that these would be good um, and I just I don't even know well I, I invested in a couple of other things and uh, I didn't invest in more of these but I should have invested in more of these basically so yeah these are the brick heads Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus really nice little set I believe that these were getting cleared at £10 on Lego shop at home they were originally I believe £14.99 or £16.99 or something retail and we were getting cleared after Christmas at about a tenner so I picked up 10 of these so I've got uh, two here and as I say I I, I know 10 sounds like a lot, but I, I really wish I'd bought I wish I'd bought about 25 of these to be honest And then I've got another box full of four there. You can see uh, is that the same set? Yeah, 4274 the set number on the side there four of them in there And then also I've got another four in here as well 4274 and these currently even though it's only October They're going for 28 quid on Amazon. So still a great margin for RA on these 10 pound into 28 quid I'm I'm going to go for around uh, 34 dollars as my price and just wait it out till Christmas because no harm in doing that. I'm sure they will go up. I'm sure they'll go up at least to 34 dollars from obviously the past experience I've had with Lego sets going up. I've seen, I've seen some Lego sets go up crazy in December. It's absolutely mental. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go 34 dollars so hopefully they will go up and uh, even if you don't it doesn't matter I can just clear them at like the 28 29 quid because there's still good profit in it for me um, but yeah hopefully they will go up and I could get uh, some really nice profit per set I don't know what that net profit would be per set but if you say like at 34.99 it's got to be like 15 quid a set or something like that depending on the Amazon fees and stuff I have to, I have to work it out but yeah I mean it's got to be like 15 quid a set so that's going to be 150 quid profit there but um, I, as I say, I would have liked to get so many more of them. They were a nice little, uh, a nice little thing. Them, nice little investment. Obviously, uh, within 12 months, I've got my, I've got my money out of them and stuff. So that's always nice. Because some things, you know, I do a bit of Lego investing. I do. If you don't know, I've done Lego investing on the channel before, and I invest in certain Lego sets for maybe longer than the 12 months. You know, so it's always nice that if I can get a turnaround prior or before that 12 months, because that's really, really quick turnaround for me. So yeah. That's that there anyway. So these are a couple of sets I forgot I even had and uh, I basically just thought, oh, I'll put them away for another year. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't say I'm glad I've put them away for another year because they've not really gone up that much more, to be honest. They've maybe gone up about 10 or more. But still, it's nice to have these and it's nice to get some money out of them in Q4. So here is a brand new Lego Dot 2 set. This is an idea set. It retired a while ago now. I don't know where. 2018 sometime, maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, if you actually got these... Um, about 20% off uh, on the month they retired, you could have flipped these for a really good margin within, I don't know, definitely within six months, possibly even within three months. They went up really, really quickly uh, and, and you could get a decent margin on these. So I actually bought a few of these. I bought a few of the Beatles set, which I'm gonna show you in a sec as well. Um, and I did flip some of them fairly quickly, but I kept 
to a couple of them and I've, re I've since sold the other one um, but then you know I kept going because I, I wanted to I wanted to see if they'd go up more now this currently is on Amazon for £92.99 I'm probably just going to go for 100 quid on it I mean I might I might be tempted to go for a little bit more than that because obviously it is October and come, come December this might go up to maybe 120 or something so I might be tempted to go a little bit more but I really think on this set maybe a hundred quid 110 quid is like gonna be the max I don't think it's gonna go up much more than that I might be wrong I might be wrong and I hold my hands up and say if I am wrong but I just think that probably won't go up much more than that. So yeah, I paid £44.50 for this set. This was the one that I sniped off eBay, actually, um, just before it retired, I think. The retail for this was like £49.99, so I didn't get much off, to be honest. Um, but I was happy to pay it because I knew that it would go up and it would be a good set. Um, so as I say, potentially like £44.50 into £100 quid there. So for an RA item or for an eBay snipe, I'm happy with that margin. Um, and yeah, there'll be some good money in that one. And then also the Beatles set, another brilliant one to invest in if you could have invested in it at the time. Um, I actually got one of these sets. I don't know whether it was this one I paid £35.50 for, but I did get one, again, off eBay for £35.50. The retail on this was... Was this slightly lower? I think it was £44.99 the retail on this one. Um, and this is same price. It's like £93.99 or something at the moment on Amazon. Um, again, probably going to go around 100 on that. So, yeah, pretty decent margin on that one. If it wasn't this one that I paid £35.54, then this one will cost me around the 40 quid, something like that. I, I didn't really get much off these, to be honest. When I was buying them, I maybe got an average of about 15% off, maybe 20% off. Um, so, so yeah, that's that one there anyway, but still, nice little margin on that one come Christmas. I got, I found these in a random box, some Lego movie cards. Is this a Lego movie 2? Yeah, so I don't know whether they're worth anything. If I've got more of them, if I can find more of them, I'll stick them on eBay as a little bundle. They might be worth something, but they're not going to be worth much, are they? Um, but yeah, that's those. Now, I've got these, these da random uh, dragon dance guy. Now, I was talking to someone who also bought a lot, well, not a lot of Lego, but they bought a little bit of Lego at the time I was investing in January. And, um... I was talking to him and I said, do you remember what the price was on these that we paid? And uh, they basically said that uh, they thought that it was a free gift that we got. Now, I'm not, I'm really not sure. For some reason, I'm thinking that these cost me eight to ten pound each and these weren't a free gift. But it's possible that, that they were a free gift, so I don't know. But they're either, they're either a free gift and I got them with other sets that I bought or they cost me eight to ten quid each. Now, these currently go for 18 quid on Amazon, about eight, I think maybe 18 pound 50 or something. So there's a little bit of a margin there, even if I did pay 8 to 10 quid. But I'm not sure whether I'm going to send these up or not, because it's not really Christmas themed or anything. It's Chinese New Year, so it might be worth me sending these up, like, early next year, because Chinese New Year is February, isn't it? So it might be worth me sending them up early next year, possibly, and then maybe there's a little bit of be better margin in. Maybe they'll go up to about 25 quid a pop. Um, but I don't know on them anyway. I've got five of them. I thought I'd take a chance on them. I did get them in a sale. I think they've Maybe originally were 14 99 and they were slashed to a tenner or something like that, as I say. So, yeah, that's those there anyway. So, I got five of them. Hulk Brickhead from the other year. I just kept it from, like, literally about 18 months ago. So, I had this for quite a while. I sold a few of them last year for around 20. I think around 20 quid, maybe a little bit more. I would say, With the Brickheads, they cost me all over the place. I was buying some for a really good margin. I was getting some for around 40% off. And then I was getting others for around 20% off. They retailed at a tenner, so um, that's around six to eight quid I was getting them for. This has now gone up since to 27 quid on Amazon. I'm just going to sell it for that. I'll clear it for that. And uh, yeah, six to eight quid invested in it, so I'm happy with that margin. Again, another couple of brickheads uh, left over from last year. Captain America goes for 30 quid, and then the Beast goes for 19.99, I believe. And that one did, that one was doing better, I think, last year, um, or it was doing better at some point point but it seems that the Captain America has kind of took over and the Hulk also had took over but that one was a firm favourite for a lot of investors 
uh, to invest in and uh, I kind of invested, I wouldn't say really heavy in the beast, but I invested, I got about five or six of them I think, but it did, it did so uh, seem that the uh, others have actually took over a little bit better. But yeah, that's those two anyway from, as I say, six to eight quid invested to potentially around 50 quid for, uh, you know, between the both of them there. So yeah, pretty happy with those two. Asda was clearing these Halloween haunt, this Lego Halloween haunt set uh, from... I think it was the, the Halloween set from two years ago, not last year. I'm not 100% sure, but we're clearing it at four quid each. So I had to pick them up. It's set 40 to 60. I picked them up last year, I think, quite a while ago, like literally a year around, around this month, maybe a year around this month, or maybe it was uh, November last year, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I've had them quite a while. Uh, unfortunately... When I was pulling the security tags off, or did they pull them off themselves at the count? I'm not sure what happened, but anyway, there's like rips on them and stuff, so I'm going to sell them on eBay. I'm sure there's still going to be a margin for them on eBay, possibly. I think these go for around 15, 16, 17 quid on eBay at the moment. It is October, it's the perfect time to be selling these, so I'm going to get these on today, actually. After I've done this whole video, I'm going to photo some of the stuff that's going on eBay out of this, because not all of this will go up to Amazon, and some of it, and some of the stuff in the other room will go on eBay, but not a lot of it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put them on, uh, and there'll be a bit of a margin in them. It won't be fantastic, but in terms of an RA margin it's actually pretty good so yeah that's those there anyway I did get four of these there's, a, there's another one there um, so yeah that's those so I got these Lego poly bags this was ages ago absolutely ages ago um, and these are set free 30 111 um, and essentially I paid on, I think it was on eBay I was getting a lot of these for 6.99 a pop and oh my god last year or was it the year before I can't remember it was one of the years anyway I did so well on these poly bags like it was absolutely crazy I think the highest I ever got from a Lego poly bag uh, from a Lego Harry Potter poly bag not this one it was a different variant it was the um, the one with his trunk and, and head wig on it. I got 64 euros or something for one single poly bag. It's a mental, absolutely insane. These ones, I think the highest I've got on Amazon, one of the years, like the peak they went to, was 29.99. I'm not expecting them to hit that this year though because these have really come down in price. They're currently around 13 pound on Amazon. I expect them maybe this year to go up to around 20. But if not, I don't mind. I've had these for so long. I just want them gone. I want my money out of them kind of thing. But I will send them in. I'll price them maybe 20 quid. If I can get 20 quid out of them, I'm happy. That's fine. Um, but potentially, I, I don't know on these. They might go up. They might kind of just stay around the price they're at. But there is a good chance they will still go up because they have been good in quarter fours in the past. So there's not really any reason to doubt that they wouldn't. It's just the fact that I feel maybe the, that kind of buzz had gone from them. Them, so possibly they won't go up as much but yeah i got four of them anyway i've had them for ages as i say so lego advent calendars of course i've picked up some of these this year in the clearance uh, I, I, I love picking up lego advent calendars 6201 I got seven of these. These are the Lego City Advent Calendar. I was too slow for the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendars. They went on sale and then everyone picked them off and I, I just was too slow. Um, I got seven of these. Um, I believe we were clear. I, I think we clear these for 50. Is it 50% off they clear these? I'm pretty sure I got them for like a 10 or a pop or something like that anyway. Possibly 12 99 a pop. But they do clear them for like 40 or 50% and these do retail. I think it's, tw I think it's uh, 19 99 for the City ones and 24.99 for the star wars ones so if it's like 40 percent off it'll be about sort of 13 quid if it is the 15 percent off at uh, 50 percent off then it would be tenner now these on amazon it's actually strange there's no fba offers on the listing that i saw and i think it's the main listing that i saw i don't think it was like a you know on amazon sometimes they do di they have different listings and some of them are really really high in sales rank i think it was the main listing that i saw 25 pound 47 these one with no fba offers which means that i can charge a little bit higher and i said I've got seven of these, so I'll just get up the other couple of boxes here. Again, you can probably see the number on there, 60210. I love having these Lego branded boxes. It's really cool. Uh, I'm just trying to wade through all the stuff. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, I don't think you're going to see them, actually, is that? It's the wrong way up, isn't it? I thought it was. So, yeah, another three of them in there. So, I only got seven of them. Potentially, I'm going to go 30 quid or something. I mean, actually, I really do need to get these up because it's now 10th of October or something, or 9th of October. I really do need to get them up because they are going to go up in price a little bit more as we come into November especially. So yeah, I mean, I might go 
$39.99, might go $34.99. I mean, usually the advent calendars from the last year, they go up by five, 10, 15 pound on the retail price. So long as the, the market's not been flooded or anything like that, which is a possibility. But then if you go two years out, so the Lego advent calendars from 2017 will now be worth maybe 40, 45 quid. So it's always a good idea to invest in the Lego advent calendars, but you have to get them at a decent price and all the rest of it. And you have to know where to look for them and stuff, know the times to look for them and all that sort of stuff. And I'm not gonna dispense that information freely because I'm just like completely shooting myself in the foot. But yes, so I'm going to probably charge, I'm going to probably put them up for maybe 34 99 I might have to come down to 30 quid, but I'm happy on those. It's still a decent margin from a 10 over from 12 quid uh, all the way to 30 quid, 35 quid. So I'm still happy with those. Seven of those, as I say. So I bought a couple of these speed champions. It was actually, it wasn't too long ago. It was a few months ago. I don't quite know how long, earlier on in the year anyway. Um, and basically they've just not gone up in price. So I'm going to have to wait on these. I guess that they've not retired yet from Lego Shop at Home. So, I mean, we might have done, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to wait on those. Some stuff that I buy in the year, you know, so let's say I buy something in June. I don't expect it, I don't expect to send it up this December, I normally just think, right, that might take a while to mature, uh, it might not go out of retirement or whatever, so I'll wait a little bit longer. So these, I'm quite happy just to put them away for next year's Q4 pile, or possibly I might sell them at some point during the year next year, if they just happen to go up in price quite a bit. But yeah, I'm quite happy just to leave these and uh, just put them in the Q4 pile. I will have got them on some sort of discount at Sainsbury's, I can't imagine it would have been a great discount, because they don't discount the Lego will be like crazy like they used to. Maybe it was a 20 or 30% discount. So these retail about 13 quid. So maybe I got them for a 10 or a pop. But yeah, the Speed Champions do well. They aren't doing as well as they did a year or two back. I mean, basically a year or two back, you could buy any of the Speed Champions, basically even at retail price at the 13 quid. And in 12 months time, they're 30 quid or they're 40 quid. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've got some more speed champions over there, which I will demonstrate what I mean. I'll tell you what I mean properly with those ones because they've just gone crazy. Um, and they're, they're the ones from a while ago uh, that I'm obviously talking about. So yeah, that's those two there anyway. I got a couple of these. Now something is telling me, I know I definitely got these from Sainsbury's, these little Star Wars battle packs. Something is telling me that these were sticking up at 720, which is quite an incredible discount really because generally, Generally, uh, these, but I, I generally avoid battle packs. So I only pick them up for a half decent discount. And generally, we get discounted to, I don't know, maybe ten pound forty or something like that in Sainsbury's. Um, but yeah, these seem to be on a, a pretty decent discount so far as I remember. I'm pretty sure these were on at seven twenty. And I don't. I thought I had picked up a couple more than this. Maybe there's one over there still. There's a big pile of stuff over there. Maybe it's over there. But yeah, these go now for seventeen quid. So they must have retired. They've gone up in value a little bit. Possibly at Christmas they're gonna be twenty quid, something like that. So again, far away, it's a pretty decent margin. I did only get these earlier on in the year, so I've not waited in. in an incredible long time to actually sell these and get the money out of them. So yeah, we'll see on those ones, um, but just a little battle, battle packs. I, as I say, I kind of tend to avoid battle packs because they don't really go up in price that much and they're just, I mean, there's certain ones that do, but there's not, there's not a brilliant margin in them basically for a lot of them these days. So yeah, well, that's those two anyway. Can anyone find Wally? Yeah, we've got six of these uh, Where's Wally jigsaws. Uh, toys, 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 thousand piece jigsaws. You may have known the whole video. Of the, well, I didn't do a whole video, but I just did a very quick glance over in my lockup. I said, oh, I've got these from Sainsbury's. Again, this was in that Sainsbury's clearance thing. Uh, that actually, I got quite a bit of this stuff for them. Uh, I paid three, uh, yeah, £3 for these. I was thinking it was 2 50 but it's the actual... I've got some jigsaws over there, and they, I think they cost me 2 50 and these were three pound the where's wally's one um now these on amazon i can't even find them i can't find them. maybe i don't know if it, I, I couldn't scan them in it wouldn't register it so i don't think there's a listing for these on amazon maybe if i typed in the name i could find it but yeah basically uh, i'm thinking maybe 12.99 free postage on ebay i knew that these were going to be a very bread and butter item but i don't mind i'm happy with that uh, from three pound i'm i'd say i'll probably put them on 12 .99. i might go a little bit higher actually because as i say it's coming to christmas so maybe i should go 14.99 uh, something like that 
But yeah, I'm still happy with those. Got six of those there. If I do go go 14.99 and I can actually achieve that, um, then you know there's going to be what eight quid profit in them or something. I don't know, something like that. Wouldn't wouldn't it be around that? Uh, maybe seven quid profit or something. But I'm happy with that anyway. So a nice little bit of profit on those. Just very standard bread and butter items really. But I'm still happy with that. So six of those there. And then I got a load more jigsaws from the Sainsbury's clearance. I think I pretty much cleared the shelves on these. Oh, in fact, actually there's a Ravensburger one in there. Oh no, that Ravensburger one that you see in there, that's something different, so I'll show you that separately. But there's five of these jigsaws. I thought there was more of these. Maybe not, I don't know, maybe not. I thought I had more of these. Maybe there's some in the other room. But yeah, these ones here that I've got at the bottom of this pile, and this one on the top here, paid £2.50 each for them. Um, and again, well actually, to be honest, I need to say something about these. I scanned them into Amazon. One of them was going for like nine or 10 quid, but then another one was going for around 25 quid. Now, granted the ranks weren't brilliant. I think one of the ranks was about 200,000 in toys. So I don't know, but I might, I might actually not sell some of these on eBay. I might send a couple of them into Amazon if they're a decent markup. Um, even if the ranks are a little bit higher, I might send them in. Um, but otherwise, I'll just sell them on eBay. And again, I'm probably going to get around similar to that Where's Wally one, $12.99, $14.99. Most probably free postage. Or I might do $12.99 plus post or something. Um, but yeah, so that's those there. I'll just get this Ravensburg one out to show, show you that one. I think I got that separately from maybe a charity shop or something. Yeah, I think I got this separately. I don't know whether it's a charity shop or a car boot, actually. But I know it was only about three, two or three quid, something like that. Um, and I think that this... Oh, yeah, it was a car boot, actually. And I think this goes for around 30 quid, actually. So I'm going to whack that on for around that price. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. I think I got it fairly recently as well. Maybe some of you remember it from the whole video. I won't dwell on it, though, because obviously you've seen it before in the whole video. But yeah, that's those puzzles there, anyway. So I'll show you these uh, Aquaman brick heads here. Um, now, I paid a five or each of these in uh where was it asda a while or ages ago a year ago or more more than a year ago and i scanned them into amazon and i thought oh my god i've made a right fail on these because they're only 4.99 right they were literally scanning in at 4.99 on amazon even after about six months of having them or something or even after about three or six months of having them so i thought to myself well you know what you know i have had them for three or six months but it's not the end of the world. I have got a bit of money invested in them. But you know what? I'm just going to put them away till next year. Anyway, I scanned them in. And they're coming up at 17 quid each on Amazon. Potentially get get close to December. That could go up to around 20 quid. Possibly not. But I don't think with these it's probably going to go up much. But you know what? I'm happy with that. And obviously I'm glad I didn't just kind of think, oh, well, that was a fail and just send them up for 4 99 and or, or even just sell them on ebay for like 4 99 plus postage i'm glad i didn't do that i'm glad i just shoved them to the side and just thought right i'll wait on them because i am actually going to get some money out of these maybe not a lot but some money out of these uh even just just waiting that little bit of time so and i can afford to do that you know i've got i've got the room to be able to afford uh well not just the room but kind of the the cash flow and stuff to be able to afford to just put things away and have a little bit of money tied up here and there so it's not too bad if you can afford to do it then maybe do it you know so anyway it's just these aquamen i've got six of them yeah i've got yeah six of them here um and yeah as i say maybe 17 18 19 quid something like that from a five as i say so that's those there anyway so i think what's going to happen in a second is my memory is going to fill up on my phone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video here i'm going to obviously put the, this video onto my computer and delete it off my phone so then obviously i can uh, continue with the whole um, and show you these final bits. There's not too much else to show you. In fact, I might be okay, but I just don't like the idea of my phone going off. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll probably do that and then come back. Mm -hmm. 